Janelle Brown would like to set the residential record straight. Yes, she was forced to move out of her rental home in Flagstaff, Arizona, because the owner sold the property. But here's the thing, okay? Here's the part that observers don't seem to comprehend, so I have something fun to share. I acted boldly and seized an adventure, the mother of six wrote on Instagram on Sunday, June 27, adding, the rental where I was living was sold and I chose an alternative path to trying to find another rental. Janelle included a photo of her new, unexpected abode along with this message, which we've posted below. She also concluded, not only is the housing market in Flagstaff as crazy as where you are I'm sure, rentals are even harder to come by. Presenting my new summer adventure, the RV life, but camped on our property. Lots to do out here on the land so I figured why not be on site. Honestly, I'm alternating between extreme excitement as I've always wanted to try this and anxiety at all the unknown variables. So stay tuned, this is about to get real. The reaction to Janelle's post was swift and strong. There's nothing wrong with living in an RV, of course, many people across the country do so and we're not about to pass judgment on this scenario, not in a vacuum or anything like that. But it's hard not to look at where Janelle is now living and to not connect it to her family's ongoing financial struggles. About three years ago, Cody Brown and his four sister wives moved from Utah to Arizona. Cut to June 2021, and the land is just sitting there barren and unused, there doesn't appear to be any immediate plans to construct anything there, which has turned Coyote Pass into a sunk cost. Cody has since bought a home with Robin and rented multiple homes for his other spouses, and the expenses have been mounting. In recent years, we've learned that Christine fell in medical debt to the tune of $450,000. Moreover, Cody and one of his sons at one point owed $30,000 in a settlement from the 2017 Las Vegas car accident. In addition, the Browns owe thousands of dollars in unpaid taxes to Arizona for the Coyote Pass property. As a result of these monetary woes, it makes sense that most social media users think Janelle didn't really have a choice once her rental was sold. Brown swears this isn't the case, however. Amid chatter that she's unfortunately stuck in the RV for the foreseeable future, at least one person rushed to Janelle's defense, she has mentioned before she has always wanted to do this, this fan wrote on Instagram. She probably just used losing the rental house as a great opportunity to fulfill her dreams. Thank you. Exactly, she replied. It was a choice not a have to. Perhaps to further cement her case, Janelle posted a gorgeous photo on Instagram late Tuesday. As you can see below, it features the beautiful land she now calls home, along with a sunset, wrote the Veteran Sister Wives cast member as a caption, for the sake of this mother of six, we hope she's right.